party for Biafra, calling the Finland government. Oh, come on, Simon Ekpa is a terrorist. He's a terrorist. <laughs> they have not started. I was talking to people on, on uh, Facebook. I said they have not started. They should go and read the history of Finland. Finland fought a brutal Cold War. Finland fought a brutal war to get their freedom today. Finland fought war with Russia. Heavy war with Russia to get independent. They didn't get independent by referendum. So anybody you are going to talk about freedom is not Finland. Anybody you are going to lecture about freedom is not Finland. <laughs> Go to some uh, Arab people, those people in Kuwait. Go that, that is where the, the hostility is. Go there. You can't come to Finland and tell Finland people how to fight for freedom because they are, the, uh, they, they are a very good example of how to get freedom. They fought war with Russia. Heavy war, brutal one. And let me tell you, every Christmas, Every 6th December, we celebrate independence in grand style in Finland. Every 6th December, every year, we celebrate independence in Finland. So, all those illiterate on social media, the Almajri, Biafra Almajris, who carry because they have access to telephone, they have access to internet, they come on social media, they travel, and they begin to talk rubbish. All of them are now freedom fighters they don't know what is freedom fighters they should go and get education first not education to pass secondary school not to pass a university they should go and research about their own right first about their own right before they will join they have, before they will join struggle for freedom a illiterate doesn't fight uh, for, for freedom because who, what are you going to fight if they push you you follow they push you you follow they don't even threat are not supposed to be in the struggle on media. They're not, they are not supposed to be in media. Media people in the struggle like this are supposed to be educated people, people who can research, people who can research and represent the image of what we are fighting for. But look at what you see today. Almajiri are better than them. Almajiri are better than them. You see them dressing like, uh, like criminals, thugs. They will come to social media and start talking. Okay? And, and a Biafran, a Biafran, they have lost, that is to show you that it is no longer Biafra. They are not fighting for Biafra again. I have to make it very clear. They are no longer fighting for Biafra again. If you, if you have not noticed it, notice it now. You can imagine where a Biafra agitator is coming to social media to as a Finland. Why do you leave Simon Ekpa? To why do you leave Simon Ekpa? He is a terrorist. He is this. He is that. As if they know they are left and right. And let me tell you, I have I have had somebody, some of them, who were one of them who were deported from Finland. He is going from social media, one social media to another. Tell saying that Simon Epa duped him. <laughs> Simon Epa duped him on immigration. I am waiting for the day I will hear it in public. I'm waiting for the day any of the broadcasters will talk about that criminal. That criminal that was deported back to, to Italy. I'm waiting for I'm waiting for him. Let any let him come and give somebody to broker. Then I will come here. And show and show Biafrans what will shock all of you. All these criminals hiding in IPOB. They say they are agitators, agitators using IPOB to, 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 to steal and do all manner of crimes in the name of uh, IPOB. In the name of IPOB. The day I will address it is coming. <laughs> so I'm waiting for. I know. They have gone to their platform to different uh, uh, WhatsApp group to, to share the information. That was why you saw somebody yesterday come in here to make a comment, where is the money for my Poland visa? So I am waiting for that particular, uh, anybody to make that broadcast. 
the same person sent the information to Achalugo to attack Simon. Achalugo refused. <laughs> Achalugo refused. So I am waiting for somebody. Any day I'm going to hear somebody to mention Simon Ekpa. You duped to this guy. He was deported in it to Italy. You did this one, did that one. Then I will I will open the chapter and I will open the book for Biafra to see the kind of crime going on in IPUB in the leadership. Because I have not opened that book. So let anybody come to talk that thing, and you are going to see, including the person going from one platform to another to blackmail Simon Ekpa. Today, they have lost it. I told them that I will be the one that will end the impunity. I will be the one that will end the fraud. I will be the one God will use to end everything and will start again. Let me tell you, this is the reason why Biafra has not come. I am, let me make it very clear today. With, the, with these people today you see on social media, with these people who call themselves e-warriors in IPOB, Biafra will never come. Go and mark it. With the people you see in IPOB today who call themselves media warriors, Biafra will never come. You need to know the damages these people has done. You need to know how they are destroying everything Mazin and Bikano have, have built with lies and blackmail. Lies and propaganda. But that propaganda will not sell where Simon Ekpa is. Because Simon Ekpa is called for this job. Everything Mazin and Bikano do. Mazin and Bikano make step, one step forward, they will take him backward. Everything he does they will destroy it with impunity. So, and anything you see me saying, I don't come to just say it for saying sake. I wonder how Mazenam they can manage this far. It is a miracle. <laughs> that is why my loyalty will always be to him. I can't pledge my loyalty to criminals. I can't pledge my loyalty to, to, to people who are full of nepotism. I can't pledge my loyalty to people who, who, are, who, are, who are corrupt. Corruption. I can't pledge my loyalty to such people who can see white and call it black. I can't pledge my loyalty to such stupid, idiotic people. I can't do that. <laughs> and there is no apology. There is no apology. You people don't see what we have seen. You don't see what Simon Epa have seen in some of the in some of these people. They are evil. They are not evil. Very very bad. That is why the Colonel is suffering this thing. Suffering. He doesn't trust them. <laughs> he doesn't trust them as well. There is no trust. Because all you see is betrayal upon betrayal. Before, by the way, Mazenam Dikano will go as far as recognizing Ududua brothers. Mazenam Dikano will go as, as, as far as calling on uh, Aosa people. Mazenam Dikano will go as far as going to Middle Belt and stretch the hands of fellowship. His, his love doesn't know boundary. But will the followers, those who call themselves fake followers, would they, would they have the same approach? The answer is no. They can never have the same approach and the same mindset. That is why Mazenam the Kanu look at all this bunch of idiots and say he need 100 men. He need 100 men. 100 men is not in them. Hundred men is not found in them. What they do now is to call Finland. Finland, come, go and catch Simon Epa. Simon, they are tired. They are tired. They are not. They, they have come to understand that media war is not for people like us, because we are divinely sent for this particular job we are doing today. So they have now lost the media war. <laughs> They are now uh, encouraging other people. You know, yes, yes. Make sure, continue to push, continue to push. Attack that Simon Epa. 
continue to push. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So after me, when you see somebody who come to join Biafra struggle, you will just mind your business. <laughs> you will not mind your business. So what I'm trying to say is that this evening we are going to be discussing the impunity of the Nigeria state, Hopus Odimma, and some of the, the consequences of not sitting at home, as some people say. And when you look at, when you see them, let me tell you, you see, do you know how to know that they are not, these people are idiots? Do you know how to know? How to know is that since the sit at home that IPOB have ordered, there has always been one problem or the other that the DSS are always organizing. DSS has been organizing people, fake people to, to enforce a sit at home. And it didn't start today. Did you know that in every sit at home, there has always been one problem or the other? But today, the problem at that time, Simon Ekpa has never made any, any uh, according to them, counter uh, order or something. It has never happened. But now, when Simon Ekpa is encouraging the sit at home to, to facilitate the release of our leader, they say, oh, the attack, uh, the attack is a, uh, is a, uh, the attack is a, uh, is a, um, uh, coming from the Simon Ekpa camp. How can Simon Ekpa give order and all that? Okay, Simon. That's why they are in Facebook. That uh, that Simon Epa you see today, uh, you will see. You will never see him again. They think Finland will deport you, <laughs> my brother. My brother, I am here to make history. I am in this struggle to make history, big history. If I don't make, if I don't make history in this life, what what can I gain? If I don't make history of being one of the pillars that restore Biafra nation to be on the map of this of this world. Uh, my life can never be complete. My life can never be complete. That is why some of them have turned around. There is no... Uh, they, how, what have they not accused? Eh, he's working for Dave Omar. He, he is working for... Um, uh, uh, let me also tell you people one thing. Let me also tell you, if I ever... If I ever spoken with Dave Omahe, let me not know good thing. A lot of people don't know this. I don't have business with Dave Omahe. What, am I, what, am I have, what is business that I have? I don't have business. I don't want to have business with Dave Omahe. The only time I will, I will have business with Dave Omahe is if he support Biafra and Biafra. Come. Before we have... I don't, I don't support nonsense. I don't support evil. I have never for one day spoken to Dave Omahe, both for Nigeria politics or both for 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 anything. Never. But you see today, they are calling me Dave Omahe. Dave Omahe have paid me Dave Omahe, because they believe that with my level, I am already uh, dealing with Dave Omahe. I don't deal with criminals. I don't deal with evil people. I don't deal with evil people. That is me. <laughs> my spirit directs me to who I deal with. Okay? And uh, this is on record. I don't have business with him and I don't think I will have business with him until Biafra come. And I don't need to speak with him. <laughs> okay? I don't need it. When this whole thing started, a lot of them claimed that I went to any place Onion do follow, any place Onion do, do, do go, I go there. Onion do went to um, um, Dr. Matanga, I go there. And the people who actually contacted me about going to Dr. Matanga's platform, they are watching me now. But they cannot speak <laughs> until I begin to call their name. <laughs> they cannot speak. They are watching me. Two person was responsible for my going to Dr. Matanga in the first place. My appearance in Dr. Matanga was, you know, two person arranged it. And they are watching me. At least if they are not watching now, they watch this video later. But you know what uh, the, the criminals in the DOS did? Since the day I appeared 
uh, on Dr. Matsanga's program, they put it as part of my 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 uh, crime against IPOB. <laughs> they put it as part of my crime against IPOB. The one they called China Samoru. He said, hey, you you went and have a, 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 a broadcast with Dr. Matanga because Onyendu went there. Anytime Onyendu went there, you go there. Onyendu go there to meet, immediately Onyendu finish. You went there. You follow you, immediately. You go to Dr. Matanga. The thing was eating him up. He even told me that Dr. Matanga told them. You see, I will begin to release these things much more. So that people, you, you will see how, how dubious and criminal you have in the leadership. He said, Dr. Matsanga, uh, Dr. Matsanga told me, he contacted me, he told me, he told us that Simon Epa approached him. He told us that Simon Epa called him. All were lies. <laughs> All were lies. And I was minding my business. All were lies. Somebody say, why am I into this open gossip? I told you that where they stop is where I'm going to start. <laughs> okay? Because I will give you this gossip and then another five, in the next four minutes, I will go, to, I will go into, the, into the exposition. I told you where they stop is where I am going to start. Because these people are not supposed to be close to anything freedom fighting. These are criminals. Criminals who support evil. What they do is to use IPOB to, for their self-aggrandizement. And I am coming to make that brokers one day. When the time comes. Because me appeared in Dr. Matanga. They count it as one crime. But I didn't facilitate it. <laughs> I want people to understand the envy and the hatred in this, in this, uh, in this. So some of the, some of the, uh, some of the criminals in this struggle. What is the, what is the crime in even appearing in Dr. Matanga? Even if I was the one who approached him, what is the crime there? Is it not the Biafra struggle and gospel and awareness we are creating? But you know what? I didn't even, I didn't even approach Matanga in the first place. Like I said, but it, to them, it was a crime. <laughs> it was a crime committed against him <laughs> and them. That uh, my, I have ulterior motive to hijack the struggle. That is why Onyendu went to Dr. Matanga. I went there. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, let them, let them, they know that I am coming and I will come very hard. But let me tell you, dear friends. With these people in this struggle, Biafra will never come. I am very, I am very sincere. With these people, with, if these people continue to be with Mazen Namdekano, Biafra will never come. Go and mark it. With all this evil in, in this particular movement and in this leadership, Biafra will never come. They need, Mazen Namdekano need genuine people. And that is why he is shouting 100. He need people that are genuine, that can stand on the truth. We don't need to, when it comes to facing our enemy, we, we unleash everything to our enemy. We can even unleash lie to, to, our, to our enemy. Because with fighting enemy, you fight enemy with everything you have, not within the movement. If I want to fight Nigeria, if I know lie to fight against, I will do it because it is, my, it is a matter of life and death. Survivor, but not within the family. No, not within the family. So, with this set of people, the Biafra will never come and they need to be flushed out of the movement. I am telling you that is the fact. Let me tell you one, let me also give you people one, one just a tip today. When not, when Mazin Namdekano. When the announcement came that Mazen Namdekano was abducted, 
Some group of people called me. And I know they will be watching this program today. Some group of people called me from the IPOB. Immediately, they, they were already forming cabals, forming group, forming group. They called me. They tried to blackmail other people. I was very busy asking them, do you people know what happened to our leader? They, are not, they were not interested. And these are the people that Mazin Namdi cannot trust. I am, I am saving that, this story now until Onyendu come out. These people called me. I ask them questions. Who and who is in your team? Who and who is in your cabals? They mention their name from A to Z. I ask specific questions. Mention the name of people. Is this person with you? They said yes. Is this person with you? They said yes. Is that person with you? They said yes. This call lasted for five hours. I did not sleep. These people were only interested in building cabal and they want me in that their cabal they say if they have me if they have me if they get me other people are gone they say if they get me on their side other people are gone mazinam the canon is in dss dungeon in nigeria and the people that he trust was calling me to divide and build cabals that I should come to their side that once they get me, other people are gone. So I begin to make investigation about those other people that should be gone. <laughs> it will be a story for the day. A story for another day. So people don't know. When you see me behaving the way I am behaving, when you see me behaving the way I'm behaving, my brother, Afu Jugomanya, I have seen a lot. And I know that this is the reason why this struggle, Mazinam Dikano, they will continue to draw him backward. They will continue to draw him backward. And this struggle actually don't need crowd. What, it, what we need is the support of the people. What we need is people to understand that we need Biafra. With few people, Biafra will come. Few people who are genuine, committed, and truthful, Biafra will come. Back in Mazinam the Kano, that's it. Mazinam the Kano don't need to tell you that I will know too and you don't, and you don't know the, 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 the rest. If the people are the people that is fighting this struggle with him are people to be trusted. But they are not. But by the grace of God, because Biafra is a divine mandate, by the grace of God, Mazinam the Kano, when he come out, he is going to find a worthy people to work with. Worthy people who will be truthful. No matter, no matter what pressure you come under, he will find people that no matter what pressure, they will stand on the truth. And that is what I'm doing. It doesn't matter how you attack me. It doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter what you do. You, you should know now that if for the last four months, you have seen the kind of attack method on me. This is the attack. This is the entire Nigeria IPOB attack on Nigeria government. Be method on me. <laughs> and I have not moved. All these things you see now is what they have been doing to Nigeria government. They want to attack Nigeria government. Oh, we are powerful. We are powerful. Where is the powerful? Because I am standing on the truth. And the Biafra people can see that I'm standing on the truth. And there is nothing they can do about it. So the truth is always defeating them. So when they get tired now, they channel it to Finland. They started writing Finland. You know, this Simon Epa is a criminal. Simon Epa is a, is a terrorist. He is sponsoring. He is aiding. He is supporting and all that. And then what about them? So, the point I am trying to make is that with the set of people in this movement now, not, not the people, but those who say they are the ones that are running the movement they are all corrupt. Corrupt. 
corruption is, is with impunity. I cannot understand why somebody will be caught, why a group of people who is highly regarded by Mazin Amdekano will be calling me in the midnight to discuss how to build cabals, to discuss how I should come to their side and if immediately they get me, other people are gone. What am I going to gain by that? So, my people, I decided to use my tongue, my, my tongue to count my teeth. So I am not, uh, I am not, uh, I am not perfect. I am not perfect. And the by Dalulin and Kuku, a Kunusi Webambo, when a sir and if I name any of the teacher. Oh, eventually, you could be for Malapun Kunuti along Kuni Fuji and Idakua, Bastamaka, Yabi, if a good gossi, Ada, and the gossi at bottom, Nirakua. Oh, because I didn't try the Because Ndibo, omane genti sana ya baju jo. Oge edu kuku no gai ya pono wai miti. Nke ipwa. Jo wai. Wanna yi woka no 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 nko. Mbolo. Eba ko ya no zi. Oge edu kuge. Onyo bina bonyi bo ya pata tiye be ya bifo no. Ok ya bife. Akaligo. Nani can already for me in Iraq. Does it for your job in Iraq? Cobana, Osina, no chosy, a boy in Nigeria. Does ever before Joe Mel. And in there, or he's a nine. Mandini never in a good and deep born of her. Nobody is doing something about it. Nobody is doing anything about it. If I know so, but also, I'm going to go you boy. Mazin and the Kano, but the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, I pop. Sina make that a big do on the Adrozi Aluma. Senior Biafra Corner. Okay, to tell you that what that in Mazin and the Kano Nebu Nezogu. Since the Mazin and the Kano take care of the system of Nigeria till now. The system ne busy agua. Everything is collapsing. I was able to phone a hotter. What's the more you hold him, the more the economy destroyed. He said these things. Oh, pretty you. Oh, pretty for me now. But ah, in a couple, come back here. You're on the flan. Now, major, major on the flan. Just for no hard boys over here. Major Ndibo, or will you Ndibo men in the flag? There's nothing an Ibo man, what if you Ibo man men in the flag? No, I need to send an idea in the flag about the killings in 1914. Now, you be gone. Or will you Ndibo men in the flag? First, from the jail, where conquer, conquer, see how sunny in the way, but I conquer quarter and evil. Oh, for your portal, the mazin and the cancer and car, mamma, and the cave are the law. A chubia, cave war, only we will one near lay. Um, there be febo, obedient to my care, where be a mobile in a gonum, near fine, a good in a war. Mazin and the Kano stand with um, justice, equity, and fairness. Or when they may be a witcher, or Bola or Jodna or Jaya, Sunday, Bo, or Kweji Dele Alapia, or the same thing Mazin and the Kano has a corner. They were born a wound meeting, Joe or Jodna or Jodna. Or Gunako Ham Nono. Daluri ne kusi ne serai. Abu nanka abu bosi zgi na bi niro abu. Esere na moninti na Eastern News 24. Kabaro ki subscribe and turn on your notification. Kela pi misi ene for update. Dika na drop ya niro abu abu. Ogeni ne. Dalu nu umunem. Abu nakoham non.
all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we'll bring you back to back update and information as to the heart in case you have not joined our social media handle what are you waiting for kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news is dropping you will be the first we will collect them let's go down to the news proper i see the heart you don't shell it for the obodo as the matter will be said you drop for my table one by one i go to bring them to you i say salama to umuchineke salama to all of us of freedom all over the world uh everybody with the desire uh, to see the liberation of umuchineke of course you and i know that um it will surely come to pass yeah um as it be uh, the members of the indigenous people of biafra ipob uh, don't drop update concerning the leader of the indigenous people of biafra mazi nam the colonel ohamadike one of Ndebo. the lead council of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB Alloy Ejimako has accused the Department of the State Service DSS of denying Mazen Namdekano's doctor access to him. Ejimako, who disclosed this on X platform, sadly said that Kano was ill with shortness of breath, low BP, and general malice. His words yesterday during our visitation with Mazen Namdekano. We found him ill with shortness of breath, low BP, and general malice. For these reasons, he requested to see his doctor and we submitted a letter in this regard. Today, the doctor arrived to the ESS but was denied access to MNK. As a background, the DSS is well aware that Mazin Nandikano is susceptible to potassium deficiency, which affects the function of the heart. This problem was diagnosed by DSS doctors some three years ago and they confessed to their lack of expertise to treat the problem, which in all probability is the cause of MNK's current illness. This is no doubt very serious and deadly to boots. The readings of the electronic heart monitor supplied by the DSS have been recording low pressure level for nearly nine days in a row without any medical intervention to ascertain whether the blood potassium level is within the clinical acceptable range. Uh, my people, when I don't see as it happen uh, for this morning, um, first of all, you will ask yourself uh, if the country called NIG uh, has taken good care of the free man, uh, the man that is not in detention, uh, for example, if there is an emergency on the road, maybe a car accident or motorbike accident or a fire outbreak, is there, the, uh, is there any, any means that the government has been able to help in this aspect? And my answer is no. In this, in NIG, uh, the the government have what is called fire service is there they also have what is called ambulance the fmc uh, federal medical centers and to my uh, own knowledge i believe that the federal medical centers are places these are federal hospitals they work for the federal they work for the whole federation and their work is to take care of the emergencies that may occur or could occur because uh, and that is why you see these emergency centers, federal medical centers and the rest of them that we are set up in all the states in Nigeria. Now, these hospitals are there. When you sit, when you have things like emergency and you are rushed to the hospital, you find the hospital still telling you first to pay uh, for your bills, pay for your drugs, pay for this and that before you will be attended to. This is your country. Oh. Same thing with fire service. Now, I want to ask you one question. If you, as a Nigeria, whether you are Igbo, whether you are Alsa, whether you are Yoruba, will be true to yourself and tell me what has the government actually done for you? Should we start from your building that you worked hard to build by yourself? You worked for people who are seven servants. 
you worked up to 20 years before you are able to just set up a bungalow? Or should we start with some of you who have retired and your gratuities have not been paid to you? And these gratuities, they are not government money. They are money that we are deducted from your salary, from your sweat, from your whole work of 35 years before you retired from the government. These were money that was deducted from your account to save for you for the future purposes. Now, you are a retiree. I want to ask you a question. How many times have you received your pension? How many times have you received your pension as a government worker? Are there me and me? <laughs> now, let's go to other parts. So let's go to the civil servants. Let me ask you, uh, civil servants, fellow civil servants, how much are you earning in a month? Now, let's go to the loans, the, the World Bank loan, the this, this loan, the that, that loan that the government has borrowed, and the monies, the allocations, the, the, the yearly budget that the government budget, and they make these distributions to uh, various governmental arms, depending on their capacity and you know uh, how their allocation for the year comes up. The question is, what has the government done with this money? I say, fa 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 what? Foul. The citizens drilled their borehole. The citizens built their house. The citizens paid their hospital bill. The citizens send their children to school with their own money. And in turn, you see these children coming back to work for the government. Is it not is this thing is it not marginalizing your citizen and using the money of the government for the riches? For the rich ones, the elites. You see how the elites have, you know, have covered and blindfolded the citizens that are in this nation. Even the citizens doesn't know their rights. Because if we want to start looking at what the government is doing for us, the government are the ones that are supposed to provide all the social amenities that their citizens need. Things like house, things like hospitals, things like pipe bomb water, things like good road and the rest of them. But in the country where you call your country, some of these things are not there. There is no pipe bomb water, there is no good road, there is no hospital, there is no uh, a building that the government has built by themselves and say, okay, all our, our poor citizens, uh, you can be paying social amount, uh, you can be under mortgage, uh, by the time you finish your mortgage, it could be 10 years, it could be 30 years, as long as your mortgage is done, this house belongs to you. There is no setting like that in this nation. But the nation we are talking about is a, an oil producing nation, uh, uh, iron, iron ore producing nation, limestone producing nation, gold producing nation, name but a few, just to name but a few, all the mineral resources that have been uh, gotten in this nation, this is also a nation that is very fertile when it comes to agricultural proceeds. And you still see how the citizens are living. As it is with this current government, the prices of things have, if there is anything like seaspoard. Prices of things are skyrocketed and the citizens are not finding it funny. Are not finding it funny. Uh, pardon me. The citizens are not uh, 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 finding it funny. Now, meanwhile, uh, let's go to another information as it may be. Uh, the governor of Imo State, where they call Hope, Uzodema, has said that nobody will protest from Southeast, uh, say that Southeast uh, will fully support uh, the government of Bola Ahmed Tunubu. Yeah, well, uh, these are politicians. They are there to support their, their leaders. An APC person will not come out and tell you that the government is not doing well because the politicians are not feeling what the pharmacists are feeling. Uh, they have food allocation, meat allocation, fuel allocation, hospital allocation, all kinds of uh, different allocation, especially those ones that are covered by immunity. Now, the governor spoke in Abakliki capital of Ebony State during the grand finale of All Progressive Congress APC campaign for local government elections. 
Governor Hope Uzodema of Imo State has said people from the southeast will not join in the planned nationwide protest against President Bolatinubu over the hardship and hunger in the country. Uzodema claimed that the proponents of such protests are enemies of the country who wanted to destabilize the national government. The government spoke in Abakliki capital of Obonu State during the grand finale of All Progressive Congress APC campaign for local government election. According to him, the people of the region have no reason to protest against the government of the day, stressing that the federal government and President Bola Tinubu are working hard to bring lasting solution to the economic challenges the people are facing. Uzodima, who is the chairman of the Southeast Governors Forum, further appeal to the people to give the government more time to work and fix the challenges. He said to the youth of Southeast, because we are on the path of growth, our enemies are trying to disorganize national government. They will come to you. They want you to protest. Ask those who want you to protest, where are their children? Why must you be the one to protest and to protest against what? The government is our government. The government of President Balatinubu is our government, so nobody from South East will protest. We are not aggrieved. We, are, we have hope. Whatever they say, this government is barely one year in office. Yes, we are aware of the hardship. We are aware of, thing, of things are hard. But I promise you that the president is working so hard to release money to the people, to deliver infrastructure to the people, and to release and increase food security to the people. Follow your leaders. Work with your leaders. Also speaking, the APC National Chairman Abdullahi Ganduje urged Nigerians to support the president in his bid to better the living standard of the people. I call on every Nigerian to support President Bola Ahmed Tinubu the Vice President Kashima, Kashim Shatima and the federal government for their efforts, programs and actions geared towards ensuring better standards of living for Nigerians. I believe and I am confident that very soon Nigerians will have reason to be smiling and acknowledging the prudence and effective result of their support for APC, Ganduja said. Um, I, I hope you've had that uh, whitewash. Uh, from uh, the governor of Imo State, uh, Governor Hope Uzandinjo. <laughs> uh, he has whitewashed everybody. Meanwhile, uh, I'm not saying nobody should go for protest uh, because uh, the more you go for protest, the more these people becomes very hardened uh, because that's the kind of government we are dealing with. They are hardened government that have decided not to care about the interest of the citizens. Uh, they don't want to know what becomes of the citizens, what the citizens are passing through or what the citizens really want. Remember the time of um, fuel subsidy uh, when the president came in and he removed fuel subsidy. And on my own, as, as someone living in that nation, as someone that comes from there, uh, because of the amalgamation, amalgamation of Lord Lugard, I'm still asking, what has, what has the government benefited the common man, the populace, the, their subjects? What has they benefited them? That is the question. I'm still asking myself, what has the, the, the government benefited the people? These indi this indivi this individuals who are uh, government mercenaries have siphoned the nation's, the, the nation's wealth. They have looted the nation. The nation have nothing to stand on again. The prices of things are going very high. The, 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 the president... The, the governors have lost control of the country's economy. They have lost control. Because when you become very greedy, when you become very greedy, what greediness does is to make you lose a total control. When you are taking more than that is coming into, the, in, into your nation. Imagine a businessman spending more than his capital or more than his income. That businessman is bound to fail. A country that does not have good infrastructure, that does not have factories, a country that, that produces oil, crude. And when this crude is gotten, it can be it can be you know reduced to different standards. That's where you get the kilo, that's where you get the agro, that's where you get the, 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 the fuel and the rest of them. And this country 
for the past 60 years, 60 something years, after all the money have not been able to come up with a refinery of their own. If Nigeria is a good country, things like fuel, gas, and kerosene are supposed to be sold for like you should be getting it for like 50. It should be the easiest thing one can afford in this nation. That should be the the that should be the cheapest because this is your home. This is this is where this thing is coming from. So I think it should be the cheapest. But the government uh, have not been able to be truthful with the people. Uh, let them keep getting ready because very soon um other nations are developing a time will come when things like crude oil will become useless and this government will have nothing to lean on and by that time they will open their eyes and see how they are backward back forward their nation if they do not suffer it their own children might suffer it because as the day go by things are developing people are becoming wise a technology is coming and I know that the era of technology is going to flush out, flush out all these fake, fake politicians. Meanwhile, this is where I've been winding down the curtain this morning. Uh, and if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share. And also remember to all your notification button so that whenever our news drops, you'll be the first who collect them. Thank you for listening. God bless you.